my third Zend AMF tutorial, second one on develop PHP. Um, this is just something goofy I was working on earlier while I was experimenting with uh, Flash Catalyst. And uh, it just shows uh, some pages loading from MySQL. Nothing too exciting going on here. Well, yeah, it's exciting to me, but at any rate, uh, I just wanted to show you uh, we have a basic database set up here, just a page table. And we have a page title, page body, and we have an ID number set up. Now, if any of you have been following uh, the Flash Builder and Flex uh, type stuff on Send AMF, mostly they just provide uh, data grid tutorials. And uh, I was trying to look for an easy way to set it up for uh, loading uh, dynamic text fields and navigation. So this is what I came up with. Let's try to get through this as quickly as possible here. Okay, so we'll create a new flex project and we'll just call it send AMF test. And this really doesn't use oh, any, any coding ability whatsoever. Um, we'll see that in a minute here. So we'll click on finish here. And we're loading the project. So now that the project is loaded, we're just going to make something very simple and basic here. Go to design view here. And we're just going to add two buttons to the stage here. And we'll add a panel. And I'm not really too concerned about how it looks right now. I just you know, want to show you an example here. And we'll load a text area here. And we'll just drag that out. And we'll give this an instance name of home txt. And we'll drag these buttons down and we'll give this button home btn and the label will be home and this one will be about btn and the label will be about oops And then we'll just connect to a data service. Now the Zen framework comes, you know, packaged with Flash Builder 4. So you can just click on PHP and click next. And you can provide your own class or you can generate a sample based on a database you already have set up. Click connect to database. Click on the page table, click OK, and click OK again. And then we'll click Finish. And this will create the PHP class file that you need to connect to Zend AMF. Now, this isn't the most secure code in the world, so I wouldn't recommend uh, putting it on a production server until you've looked over it, but it is definitely um, great for experimental purposes. So just take a look at it before you, you know, put it on anything uh, that you want safe. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on get page by ID and we're going to drag that right to this text area. And then we're going to leave everything as it is and we're going to want to call from the page body column so we'll click OK it says enter value for the item ID well we know the first uh, one is you know one 
ID number one in the MySQL database. So we'll click save on that. And let's check to see really quick if it works. Okay, so so far that is working. And now we'll add the navigation. Okay, so now we'll add the navigation. And basically what we want to do here is go to state and then click new. And we're going to name this one about and it's going to be a duplication of state one. So we'll click OK. We'll go to state one, edit it, and we'll call that home. So we got that set up. So now I know this is really goofy, but this is just the way it has to be done. We're going to click on this text field here, text area, click copy, go to about, and then we're going to delete this text area and then we're going to paste it. And then we are going to drag this over here. When it says the component is already bound, you don't want to replace the binding with one to a new service operation. Just click OK. And we still want everything the same. So we'll click OK again, and it'll load this up again. So this time we will put an ID value of 2 in. And we will save that. And then we'll go back to the design perspective. And we'll click on Home. And we will right click on that. Well, actually, first we can click on Home and click Enabled False. Oops. Now we want to enable true on the about layer. We want it false on home, on the home state, and then about. We want the about enabled set to false. And then we can right click on home, generate click handler, and we will just put current state equals home and then we will go back to the design perspective we will click on about generate service whoops generate click handler and current state equals about and then the only other thing we want to do here Is we want to remove this dot home after click on both of these and then save it and we should be able to run it now so it's running and we've got text coming in for the home page and we've got text coming in for the about page. This is the about page. This is not magic, but it's magical. Okay, and that is pretty much how easy it is to make uh, different pages in Flash Builder. Um, you could load any Photoshop file or Illustrator file into Flash Catalyst and save it as an FXP file, and then that would natively import into Flash Builder. So anything you can imagine the, from a design perspective can be put into Flash Builder and then from there you can load dynamic text and pretty much anything you can do with uh, PHP. And that will be it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it.